Hello and welcome to Thought for August the 8th. Our readings are 1 Kings chapter 2, Jeremiah chapter 29 and Mark chapter 3. And our thought is, whoever does the will of God, he is... Well, we all want to do the will of God, don't we? The Bible is full of examples of those who claim to do the will of God, but who fail to grasp what the will of God really is. Some deceive themselves into thinking that what they say and do is in harmony with the ways of God, and therefore His will. The principle we need to follow is plain. To read God's Word regularly and to do so with a totally honest, God-fearing heart, so that we do not twist its meaning to suit our own desires. What we read today in Mark chapter 3 shows that many of the Jews, especially the religious leaders, were obsessed with keeping the Sabbath in a ritualistic way, creating for themselves the spirit of self-righteousness to such an extent it blinded their minds to what Jesus was saying and doing. Because Jesus healed a man with a withered hand on the Sabbath day, the Pharisees went out and immediately held counsel with the Herodians against him, how to destroy him. Verse 6. They later made wild allegations against him, saying, He is possessed by Beelzebub, the prince of demons. Verse 22. It is highly interesting that there is no mention of demons or even the word devil in the Old Testament. Beelzebub gets a mention in 2 Kings chapter 1 verse 3 as the idol god of Ekron. Human imagination about the evil spirit world had only become as a result of the influence of Greek philosophy when they conquered the ancient world 200 years or so before Christ. Notice how Jesus, in a sense, makes fun or ridicules their ways of thinking. How can Satan cast out Satan, he says in verse 23. His family members come to see what is going on. Obviously, there were rumours circulating about him, and they are standing outside, and they sent to him and called him, we read in verse 31. And he is told, they are outside, seeking you. His response is very significant. Looking about those who sat around him, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does the will of God, he or she, is my brother and sister and mother. The religious leaders had a corrupt perception of the will of God. We who have God's word so readily available have no excuse for failing to read it carefully so that we know the ways and principles upon which God acts. And so we do the will of God, and as a result, are truly Christ's brother and sister and mother. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, knowing that Word to be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Thank you.